Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebraic challenge and here we have x plus 5 whole cubed plus x plus 3 whole cubed equals to 8 and we solve this problem for the values of x. So the very first step we are going to do is here first we rewrite this equation as here we have x plus 5 whole cubed and we write it as x plus 4 plus 1 whole cubed and plus here we write this x plus 3 as x plus 4 minus 1 and its whole cubed and this whole equation equals to 8. And now in the next step uh, here you see that we have x plus 4 be the common term on both of these uh, uh, in the left hand side so that we will uh, take here uh, this uh, x plus 4 equals to y. So we take y equals to x plus 4 and now we substitute x plus 4 equals to y in this equation. So that our above equation will be written as uh, y plus 1 whole cubed plus uh, y minus 1 whole cubed equals to 8. So uh, in the next step uh, we will uh, use the famous uh, cubic formula and uh, uh, you know that uh, a plus b whole cubed equals to a cubed plus b cubed plus 3 times of ab into a plus b and similarly our second formula is a minus b whole cubed and a minus b whole cubed equals to a cubed minus b cubed minus 3 times of ab into a minus b so here we use these two cubic formulas uh, on this term so here first we use the positive cubic formula on the first term and then we use the negative cubic formula on the second term so uh, now we use uh, mm, these two formulas on the above term and our above term will be written as uh, y cubed plus 1 cubed plus 3 times of uh, y into 1 into y plus 1 so this is the uh, cubic formula in the first term and now we uh, expand the second cubic formula so uh, the second cubic formula is y minus 1 whole cubed this is y minus 1 whole cubed and now we can open this formula and it will be written as y cubed minus 1 cubed minus 3 times of y into 1 into y minus 1 and this is whole equation equals to 8 and now uh, here we need some uh, simplifications here so that uh, we open these brackets and we simplify the terms and here we have y cubed and this is 1 cubed equals to 1 and we have this 3y and when we multiply this 3y on these two terms then it will be written as uh, plus 3y square plus 3y and similarly this is the y cubed and this is minus 1 cubed becomes minus 1 and now we multiply minus 3y on both of these terms then it will becomes minus 3y square plus 3y and this whole equation equals to 8 and now in the next step uh, uh, here you see that this is the plus 3y square and minus 3y square are cancelled by each other and similarly this is plus 1 and minus 1 also cancelled by each other and we get here y cubed plus y cubed it is equals to 2 times of y cubed and here we have 3y plus 3y becomes 6y and we move this 8 in the left hand side and it will become minus 8 and this whole equation equals to 0. This is the over minus 6y. So here you see that we have to be the common expression on each of these terms. So we divide both of the sides by 2 and now we can simplify the terms and we will get here y cubed plus 3y minus 4 equals to 0 over 2 becomes 0. And now uh, uh, we get the cubic equation. So here we easily make the factors of uh, this cubic equation. So that here we break the middle term and our middle term is plus 3y and we write it as y cubed minus y and plus 4y 
and minus 4 equals to 0 because here you see that we write this 3y equals to minus y plus 4y because minus y plus 4y becomes 3y and now we take common y from the first two terms and we obtain y square minus 1 and plus here we take common 4 and we get y minus 1 equals to 0 and now here you see that we have y uh, we will open this formula y square minus 1 and we know that uh, y square minus 1 equals to y minus 1 times of y plus 1 and plus here we have 4 times of y minus 1 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now you see here we have y minus 1 be the common factor on both of these terms then it will becomes y minus 1 be the common term we take it common and we get here y times of y plus 1 and plus here we get 4 because we take common y minus 1 and this whole equation equals to 0. So in the next step uh, we need uh, some more simplification and we obtain here we multiply this y on both of these terms and we get y square plus y and plus 4 equals to uh, 0. So now we convert this equation in two cases so that our first case is we write y minus 1 equals to 0 and the second case is we write y square plus y plus 4 equals to 0. So now we can solve these two cases and now first we find the values of y. So in this case we have y equals to 1 and in this case uh, first we check that is this quadratic equation has real roots or not because in this question we need only real roots. Uh, so that here we use the discriminant formula in order to check these uh, the roots of this equation so first we write the coefficients of this equation and the coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 1 and c equals to 4 and discriminant formula is denoted by delta equals to b square minus 4 times of a c so here we substitute the values of a b a and c in this uh, formula and we obtain 1 square minus 4 times of 1 into 4 and you get here 1 minus 4 times of 4 becomes 16 and 1 minus 16 becomes minus 15 so this is the value of our delta and you see that this is less than 0 and if the value of our delta is less than 0 in discriminant formula so we call it has it has uh, no real roots so if it has no real roots we will reject it this case and we can just proceed here this case only and in this case we get the value of y equals to 1 but in the start of the problem we will take here our y equals to x plus 4 you see here we have this is the value of y it is equals to x plus 4 and now we back substitute this value of y here and we get x plus 4 equals to 1 and here we move this plus 4 to the right hand side and we obtain x equals to 1 minus 4 and finally we get the value of x equals to minus 3 so this is the our final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos